Hello everyone, welcome to my another After Effects tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this kind of kinetic topography. Open Adobe After Effects, create a new composition. And I'll rename it as Topography. Select the size and frame rate and click on OK. Now create a new text layer. Type the text you want. I'll create each text layer for each words. Now I had created all the text layers. Now arrange them as you want. I'll fast forward the video to save some of your time. You can change the size of the text. Now I had arranged all the text layers as I want. Zoom in the timeline and set it to 10 frames difference. Now move to 10 frames and place the first text layer. Simply go to 10 frames and press open bracket button to place the layer. Place all the text layers at 10 frames difference. And I'll trim our project at 3 seconds by pressing N in the keyboard. And our project looks like this. Now I'll animate the text layers. Here I'll animate Word Illustrate. Go to starting frame. Press the drop-down menu and select the animate to rotation. Go to strange selector. And select the keyframe on offset and rotation. And set the rotation to 180 degree. Go to one or two frames before the other word pop-ups and set the rotation to 0 degree and offset to 100%. Select the key frames and press F9 to easy ease them. Now our animation looks like this. Now I'll animate is text. Go to animate and select skew. Go to strange selector. Set keyframes on offset and skew. And set the skew to 45. Go to one or two frames before the other word pop-ups and set the offset to 100% and skew to 0. Select the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Now I'll animate Graphy. Select the layer and press R to open rotation. Set the keyframe and set the angle to 90 degree.
and go to around 8 frames and set the angle to 0. Select the key frames and press F9 to easy ease them. Now press space to review it. Create a new null object. Right click here and go to columns and select the parent option. Select all the text layers and parent it to null object. Select the null object and press P to open position. Go to starting of the text and select the key frame and place the text to center. Now again select the null object and press S to open scale, add a keyframe on it. Now press U to open keyframes. Now move 2 to 3 frames before next text pop-ups and set the keyframes on both position and scale. Now go to next text and place it to the center. Set the position and scale. Now again go to 2 to 3 frames before next text pop-ups and set the key frames. Repeat this for all texts. I'll fast forward the video to save some of your time. Now I had added all the keyframes. Go to starting frame and press space to review it. Select all layers and pre-compose. Create a new background layer. Create a new solid. And I'll rename it as background. Place the background layer below the comp. Go to effects and presence and search for gradient ramp. Select it and drag it on the background layer. Select Radial Ramp and drag the anchor point to center. Select the starting and ending colors. And move the anchor points as you want. Select the comp layer and go to effects and presence. And search for 4 color gradient. Select it and drag it on the comp layer. Go to endpoint and select the colors as you want.
Perfect. And I'll move the ramp point to here. Go to first frame. Now press space to review it. Now I'll add blur effect to the text. Double click on comp layer and select blur to all layers. And click on this icon to activate blur. And go back to Topography Project and right-click on Comp Layer. Select Layer Style and select Drop Shadow. Go to Drop-Down Menu. And select the Opacity to 30%. Here I'm roughly selecting the values. You can preview it and select the values you want. Now press space to review it. Now our animation is complete. Perfect. Thanks for watching. Way to illustrate what is kinetic topography. If you learned something make sure to subscribe.